It will be another big year for the group in council that covers the people, property and the popularity of our region. In the 2020-21 budget, council has allocated $11.5 million for the construction of the new Highfields Library. The new facility will replace the existing temporary library, which supports around 52,600 visitors each year. Council respects the importance to the RSL and the broader community of the state heritage listed Toowoomba Soldiers Memorial Hall. This year, $4.25 million will continue major refurbishments on this prominent memorial. This year, Council will begin construction of Carnival Lane at 174 Margaret Street in the heart of the Toowoomba CBD. At the cost of $1 million, the Carnival Lane will be completed by the end of the year, weather permitting. It will provide an essential connection from Margaret Street through to Jesse Street, Annan Street businesses and public car parks. This year, Council will continue to upgrade the Empire Theatre with $1.1 million assigned to maintenance of this premium theatre facility. A $1.5 million upgrade to the Milmerran Swimming Pool will be a long-term investment into this fantastic community facility. The project includes the renovation of the pool and toddler pool with an upgrade of associated pumps, filters and pipework and construction of new amenities and the open plan change rooms will be significantly improved. Yarraman Pool will see the benefit of $415,000 that will fund new change rooms and a new ramp for improved accessibility. This year $500,000 has been allocated to finalise the replacement of the former Clifton Museum building. The museum is an essential part of the housing of not only Clifton's history, but the Toowoomba regions. A budget allocation of $1.2 million will also see the completion of the new Charlton Depot. This new modern, intelligent and sustainable facility to meet the current and future needs of our staff and the communities we serve. The Community Grants Program will have $740,000 made available across two rounds of funding for the seven categories of grants. Round one of the community grants will open in July and I encourage community groups to apply. In 2020 and 2021, Toowoomba Region continues to improve the areas in which we gather as a community including our parks, museums, art galleries and libraries. This year our budget allocates $3.9 million to deliver new tourism infrastructure that capitalises on Toowoomba's great dividing range escarpment parks to unlock nature based and sports tourism opportunities. The three-year project will provide active linkages between Toowoomba's escarpment park and includes the construction of a new lookout, road upgrades, accessible facilities, barbecues and amenities, improved parking as well as dedicated bushland trail upgrades. This year we seed our world-class gardens with the promise to plan to play in the petals this spring. Our gardens remain ready for the uncertainty that lies ahead. This budget will see the completion of the $12 million Queen's Park Master Plan Implementation Project with Stage 7 works costing $2.9 million. The upgrades will include two new amenities buildings, completion of the Margaret Street Playground and lighting and pathway upgrades. Throughout our region, Council's Local Government Infrastructure Plan will fund parks at Oakey, Pittsworth, Gowrie Junction, Kingsthorpe, Hodgson Vale, Clifton, Wairima and Toowoomba. These open spaces will benefit upgrade and improvements at the cost of $3.24 million. Council maintains over 225 kilometres of fire management trails on more than 7,000 hectares of bushland reserve. Each year we invest in extending and upgrading this network of fire trails. The 2020 and 21 budget will allocate $610,000 for renewal and upgrade of fire management accesses. $1.37 million is allocated for fencing renewal, including upgrades for our wild dog check fence. Our libraries continually seek ways to improve service to our customers. Radio frequency identification is a key technology used in libraries to enhance the customer experience, and this is in budget. We will spend $13,000 this year on upgrades. In a world first, Toowoomba Regional Library will be adding a self-issuing function in the MyTR Library app. This new feature allows customers to borrow resources using their phone or mobile device, avoiding the need to queue at self-service kiosks or service desks, allowing a smoother customer experience. This year we have bold ambitions for our parks, libraries and galleries. I'm very much looking forward to this 2021 budget and making Toowoomba Region continue to be the best place in Australia to live, work and raise a family.